the post-apocalyptic world of Days Gone is back with a brand new trailer for Deacon's Bike that was just dropped by PlayStation a few hours ago with some very fascinating information regarding the upgrades and customization and gameplay handling of your bike and much more. Hey what's going on folks my name is Blackwoods and welcome back to another Days Gone video on this channel and before we go any further I want to specially thank each and every one of you guys out there who have been subscribed to this channel. You guys have been showing insane amount of support towards the channel for the past few days and this has been keeping me encouraged to make much more quality Days Gone content for you folks. So according to the new trailer there seems to be much more new information flooding in about the bikes and its customization. So apparently Deacon is a member of the Margo Mech Motorcycle Club who are basically the outlaws. Yes of course they are not the good guys so the gang is basically built around the motorcycles and is considered a symbolic icon for Deacon and his lifestyle. The connection between Deacon and his bike is something very special so seems like the bike is going to be your best friend when you are in the world of Days Gone. So according to the devs the bike handling is going to be differing from players to players depending on what kind of modifications you add in your bike. The devs have also stated that within a few hours of riding the bike now you'll start feeling like you're already a professional at it even if you have never rode a bike in your life before. Which honestly is an experience that I would always love to see when you're playing a video game. So there's also a tagline for the bike called riding the broken roads. The reason why is cause in the story mode the government comes up and blows the roads and the bridges in order to stop the freakers from crossing it. But this now also opens up a vast opportunity for you to try out some 6 tons on your bike. So in order to perform these jumps you will now have to upgrade your bike and also upgrade Deacon's bike handling skills in the game. So it seems like Deacon is going to be having skills of his own and the bike is of course going to be having different kinds of upgrades. So if you upgrade the bike as well as the Deacon's riding skills then you might actually reach places that you otherwise can't. So if you as a player engage in your open world side quest and work for the encampments then you will now earn enough trust from the people around your camp and credits to buy better faster engines as well as nitros for your bike. This will help you boost out of the situations that gets you in trouble. So the weather system will now impact the way the bike works and plays in the game. If the rain comes in and there are muddy trails everywhere then the bike might not be as easy to handle as what you might have experienced when there was a clear weather. Your bike can now get dirty and if you don't clean it then the engine might start having issues and it starts smoking up. So maintenance to your bike is as important as feeding your horses. So if your bike is completely damaged then you will now have to move on your foot until you find the scraps and parts to actually fix your bike back again and to get back on the roads. We know this already that there is a fuel management to your bike that you will now have to pay attention to where you will have to refill the gas in order to keep it running. So if you're trying to do a stealth attack on a horde or any NPCs then you will now have to park your bike far away from the place you're going to ambush because the sound of your bike might actually alert the enemies nearby if you park it in the right place and in the right direction so that you can now use it as a getaway plan. You can also upgrade your saddle bags in your bike in order to get more storage so you might actually have a few extra ammos that you can stack up in there. The bike has a full sweep of customization to make it look completely different from what Deacon actually has. So you have different colors you can choose from, different engines, different fuel tanks and you can also add stickers to your bike to make it look much more of the player style. So it is now completely up to the players to choose how they want their bikes to look and play around in the world of Days Gone. There are much more informations dropping about the game every single day and I'll keep you guys updated on everything you basically need to know about Days Gone. So your number one go to channel for anything related to Days Gone would be right in here and the best way to watch all the videos are of course using a subscription which is absolutely free of cost so make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel and turn the notifications on for more dedicated Days Gone videos. I've also made much more Days Gone content on this channel if you guys want to watch all of those the links will be down below in the description to each and every one of those videos I've dropped on this channel. 
So let me know what kind of colors are you going to be painting your motorcycle as. I think I might go with a matte black theme with a lot of stickers on it. So let me know what would you guys do with your bikes in the comments down below. It will be really interesting to see what kind of ideas people out there are actually having in order to customize your own bikes. With that being said, I hope you guys are having a blast of a day and I'll see you all on tomorrow's videos. Peace out amigos.